Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, my name is Drew Anthony and today we're looking at one of the craziest truck campers I've ever stepped foot in. Let's take a look. This camper has three slide outs, weighs over 5,400 pounds and costs a whopping $100,000. So what makes this truck camper $100,000? Well, there's a couple things. One is the size. Anytime you have a truck camper with over 100 square feet of floor space, three slide outs, and a boatload of luxury options, it's bound to command a higher price tag. The second reason, and probably most important, is the build quality. Eagle Cap was acquired by Adventure Manufacturing 2011, and if you don't know anything about Adventure Manufacturing, they've been building quality truck campers like this for well over 50 years. So at this point, they know what they're doing. Combining the 50 plus years of industry experience plus a really great design team, you get something like this, the Eagle Cap 1200, a design that's giving you the largest open floor space in any truck camper. With a welded aircraft quality 2x2 and 2x4 aluminum frame superstructure, you get an insulation factor of R22 in the floor and R13 in the walls. But without further ado, I'm going to get off this toilet and we're going to check this thing out. Once you get into the camper, just take a look at how large this space is. The first slide out box is going to be to your direct left and that's going to have the couch on it there. The second one is going to be across from the entry and that's going to be in these two recliners. And the third slide out is going to be this one here, which has the kitchen on it. Next, we come to our first slide out box. And this, like I said before, is gonna have the couch on it, but it also converts to a bed space. So in a minute here, I'll open that up and you're gonna be able to see that that sleeps an extra person if need be. Above the couch, you're gonna have three different cabinet spaces, which give you access to all the same storage location and a little light, which you can manually turn on and off. Another really cool feature with this couch is that they've included under couch storage. So you can use that to store anything and put it out of the way, but it's still within easy access. Just past the couch here, you're gonna have a little bit of shelf space down here, which rests under this large dual pane window. And one thing to note is that each of these windows in the truck camper here are all going to be dual pane. Eagle Cap prides itself in being a four season capable truck camper. And so all of these dual pane windows are certainly what add to that large R value. Moving forward in the second side out box, we'll find the two recliners. And what's really cool about these is that they have put on these little TV trays. So they're mounted on the wall with this little magnet and then they swing out here so you can sit, eat food and watch TV on your 32 inch LED TV. The chairs also have two cup holders and then a little snack cupboard here hidden away in the middle. And of course my favorite part is they do recline. So it makes for a really nice comfortable spot. And again, turning around, you'll see the large TV air conditioning up top and just below it you're going to have shelf space here plugins in the corner down here is going to be your bluetooth sound system and then a little bit of storage underneath moving further to our right we arrive in one of the most important places inside of a truck camper and that's going to be the kitchen in here you still get a full-size fridge and freezer for anybody wondering yes this is a two-way fridge so it's going to be gas electric as you can see here, it's kind of hard to get a good angle of the fridge here with the camera, but it's got plenty of space and it is full size. So you don't get any of those small half fridges. Next to it, a three burner stove top. You don't get an oven in here, but they did give you a full size convection microwave oven. So you can still cook a turkey in there if you want. To the right up above, you get a bit of cabinet space. Although it's not tons, it still does the job. And again, one of the most important things to have in a kitchen is a good sink setup. And here you get two. Along with the two stainless steel sinks, you get a high rise kitchen faucet with a little spray wand to clean off dirty dishes. And I believe this is like a pot filler. If you know what this is, let me know, but I'm pretty sure that's just another stream of water coming out of there. But anyways, if you know, let me know in the comments. That's what I think it is. You do also get a pretty good amount of storage space in the kitchen here. So you have three drawers that pull out the full length and I believe they're on soft close. Yeah, they're on soft, soft close hardware too. So they, they slide in and close real nice. In the corner here, they've included a really cool design. And this is for like spices or I guess you could put like fruit or anything in there, pretty much anything that fits. But instead of just kind of having dead space there, they have included this little slide out rack, which I think is a great idea. Underneath the sink, of course, there's plenty of room where you can store cleaning supplies or anything of that nature. 
And this is where I can confirm if you guys can see this here, hold on. So this is where you're gonna find the actual weight with factory installed options of the camper. And again, that's 5,414 pounds. That's really heavy. That actually brings up a pretty important point. What kind of truck do you actually need to pack something like this? Seeing as how it's got a 12 foot floor length and weighs over 5,400 pounds, in my experience, what's most often seen is an F450 dually with an eight foot box. With truck campers, the important weight capacity to keep in mind when buying a truck is the payload capacity, not towing capacity. Payload is the weight that sits on the truck. And there's a couple things that contribute to that. One is gonna be this camper. Two is gonna be passengers you have with you inside of the truck. And three is any extra weight you have. So that's gonna be a full tank of fuel and anything you're bringing with you. So keep in mind, when you're buying a truck, for a truck camper, pay attention to the payload capacity. Because this truck camper is so big, you can actually access the bedroom from either side of the unit here. But we're gonna go to the left here because that's gonna be where your bathroom space is. This is one of the most impressive spaces I've ever seen in a truck camper. And the reason for that is this is a dry bath. What's normally found in a truck camper is gonna be a wet bath. And what that means is you're gonna have the toilet, the shower, and the sink all in one area. So basically to do your thing, you're getting wet. In this space, it's all separated. So you're gonna have a shower curtain that closes off the shower itself here, and you still have the toilet on the outside of the shower. Across from the toilet, you're gonna have a massive amount of storage space. And down below, you'll have four different drawers and up top, some cabinet space. This space is great because it doubles as either storage for your clothing or storage for toiletries, towels, or anything else you need in this space. So you've got four drawers down here, two cabinet spaces, shelving on one side and hanging space on the other. On top of this storage space, you also get mirrors on the back of the door so you can see yourself while you're changing. For anybody wondering, yes, you can close off the bathroom. It has a little sliding door here. Moving past the bathroom, we arrive in the bedroom and in here, you're gonna have a queen size bed. Up top, you're gonna have storage above it and then right above here, is a little skylight that actually opens up and has a little shade to close off any of the light coming in. And then on either side, you're gonna have safety exit windows as well. In addition to that overhead storage, you're actually gonna have storage on either side of the bed as well. So over here and over there. Plus, if you're in need of some privacy, each door to the bedroom has these little shades. So you can close that off and have a pretty private bedroom as well. For heating and cooling in here, you'll have your 15,000 BTU air conditioning unit and you'll have a 30,000 BTU furnace forced air in the floor. Now that we've covered everything pretty much in the inside, let's take a look at what they have on the outside. On the outside, starting at the front door, the camper has a four step entry to the inside. Further to our right is the kitchen slide where they've added a little bit of storage space for easy access items. Above the slide is a power awning and you'll notice all around the camper are frameless tinted safety glass windows. At the front of the camper, there are two different doors. One gives you access to the battery tray and the other gives you access to the water tanks. Moving around to the driver's side is where you'll find the second slide out along with a 2500 watt propane generator, access to the camper's water heater and sewer outlet connections. At the back of the camper is where you'll find the plug-in for your 30 amp shore power along with an outdoor shower, propane tank storage and a large subfloor storage space with a slide out tray and waste valve controls. On the rear slide out is the ladder to access the fully walkable roof and on all four corners of the camper are the Happy Jack wireless remote electric jacks. If you're looking for more information, I have included a web link in the description below where you can check out all the models that Eagle Cap makes. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that little bell notification to get notified every time I post a video. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you guys in the next video.